Hello all, in this video I explain the scaling function in the Mitsubishi GX Works 3 using an FX5U CPU. Well, first of all, why do you need a scaling function? A scaling function is used to calculate a certain input range to a predefined output range where you can change your value let's say from an analog input module for example the fx5 480 where i already made a video and this card gives you a value from 0 to 32,000 units using 0 to 10 volts respectively 4 to 20 milliamperes and there is a function in the GX works where you can actually predefine this value. First of all, I'm gonna make a new function program block, which I just call scaling. And I make this in letter language. And here we are. And it's pretty simple. You just put a normally open contact with the SM400 in front of the scaling function that you set here. The scaling function exists of the input word. I call this D10 in this case. And then the scaling values itself, which is the D30. And this is split it up in five words, which I will just explain to you. And then the output value, which we will call just the D40. Just click OK and off we go with this one. And then we need to make an initialization of the scaling function. Oops, sorry, of the scaling function itself. Um, there we go. Put a normally open in front of it again and call it also SM400. And then you make a move instruction move K2 to the D30, which describes the length of your scaling function. Push OK and this way your scaling function is initialized. And now we will go to the individual words which are used. So we have the D30, which I call just the um, initialization. I just call it any, I make it a word, or I call it, um, I call it a start point, it's easier. Start point. Make it a word, just make a description right here again with the start point. And then your first word in the scaling function itself will be the D31. Oops, sorry, which is actually your input minimum value. It's the D31. It's the in, min, and it's um, the start plus one word. The next label will be the output minimum value. But here I have to put in the word, and here I have to put in the right address. Sorry about that. That's the D30 right here. Here, the D31 right here. The output minimum is also a word, and it's the D32, and it's the out minimum, which is the start word plus two words, and then we will come to the input maximum value will also be a word 
and that will be the D33. That's the in. Do I make this right? Yes, that's the in max. And this is start value plus three watts. Plus two watts right here. And then finally we will have the output maximum which is a word that will be the D34 and that's the out max which is the start plus four words. This is for the calculation and finally we will have the actual um, actual output value also be a word and that will be what did I put in here the D40 there we go actual output scaled all right, that's it. So now if we go ahead and make a um, watch window with the individual values that I just made here, let's see if I can just go ahead and copy this in here. All right. And then I start the simulator. There we go, simulator, start, all right. So now, assuming that we have the FX5 AD analog input module, we will have an input minimum, which is actually, uh, which is actually zero. And we will have an out, an input maximum, sorry, an input maximum, which is 32,000 units. And we have an input, an output, nah, 32,000, there we go. And we have an output, let's say we have a linear encoder with just 600 millimeter from zero to 600 millimeter. So we have an out of minim, uh, out minimum of zero and we have an out maximum of 600 millimeter and then we also need the input value from our um, d10 that i just put in here this is your this is actually moved from the fx5 input to the d10 so our output should be the, the 600 millimeters there we go and then we will see let's say we have a value of 16,000 that should bring us to an actual output value of 300 millimeters and there you go and this is how you can see how this scaling function is working and you can actually go ahead and scale this to your needs so you can change this to 800 millimeter or maybe you have a pressure transducer from zero to 300 bars and you will always see if you get 50 percent of your input minimum of your input uh, uh, maximum you will get a calculated output if we go to 32,000, we will see that we have the maximum calculated output of 32,000 and the actual output changes to 300 bars in this way or whatever you calculate 300 millimeters and if you only use um, 32 
or 3200, you will have only 10%. And this is how easy the scaling function works. You will always be able to change your values to your needs. And you can also make a uh, move function. But this, if you make a move function, you will not be able to change your values. Your values are actually fixed. But it will just work the same way. If we go ahead and we move, we just make a start point here again, and we move um, K0 to the D31, which is the input minimum. Or I make this different one moment, that way you can understand it better. It should be able to write just the input minimum right here. And then we write another line for the input maximum. I'm going to take the input maximum 32,000 to the input maximum. There we go. And in the next line, um, we will use the output calculation where we say move. Uh, move um, k0 to output minimum and move k whatever you want maybe 8000 for any certain 8000 millimeter long linear encoder to the output maximum, there we go. And if we run this on the simulator again, you will see the same result. So at the end of the video, I will show you all the values again. All right, let's make a simulation. There we go. And you can already see the fixed values that I have in here. I cannot change this anymore. Even if I want to, I cannot change it anymore because it's written over in the PLC program. Move this down a little bit here. And as you can see, oops, sorry, that was too much. Um, if I put 10,000 in, the according value should appear. If I put it in the right in the right register, there you go. You have an actually uh, calculated val output value of 2,500. And if you use just 50%, there you go, you will get 4,000. And this is how all this works. I make you a little screenshot of this whole thing here. This way you can see the whole setup. Global variables again that I said here and that's it. And it's all about the scaling function in the GXWorks 3 using a FX5U CPU. Thank you for watching.